Sunday, December 31st, 2017, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Last day of the year, and I want to talk about a couple of books that, in my opinion, are vital for uh, people to, to read. Uh, if I had to choose two books to give to a young person to read, uh, to help them through their uh, you know, lives, uh, these two would be the, uh, the ones. One is about money, and the other one is about philosophy, government, uh, and liberty. Some of you probably know the books I'm going to talk about, and I've talked about it before, but I, I get always new uh, subscribers, new viewers, so it's always good to update uh, new uh, subscribers and viewers about these books. Well, the first one is What Has Government Done to Our Money by Murray Rothbard, uh, economist, uh, Austrian School uh, of Economics economist, American economist, and uh, yeah, that's the one. What has government done to our money? Uh, he, and the subtitle as well and, is End the Case for a 100% Gold Dollar, basically no fractional reserve banking. And um, so why do I like this book? Is it just because he's got a case for the gold dollar? No. Uh, I think people should read this book uh, because he explains the you know the the history, the nature of money and what it is. Money is not just something that uh, how can I say you want to make because it's money. It, it, it's also a, an instrument or a utility for a modern uh, industrial society or post-industrial society. Uh, it helps. Uh, Indirect exchange, it helps specialization, and I don't think uh, we'd be here as a society or as a human race. We'd have as much uh, comfort and uh, technology if we didn't have money. If we were still bartering and uh, lived a subsistent life, it, things would be a lot more difficult. So this book goes through uh, basically... Uh, it's called the regression uh, analysis of money by the Austrian School of Economics. Uh, it talks about how in the beginning, human society, people you know, bartered goods, and then people found out that some goods were more marketable, and that good became money, and, uh, and so, so on and so forth. And he talks about how government has hijacked the monetary system. And by government, he means the central banks, and the politicians uh, who have uh, given central banks legislative power. So I highly recommend this. You can probably find it uh, PDF online, or if you want to buy the book, I recommend the Mises.org website. Uh, and I have to say the Austrian School really opened my mind to, uh, to the world and uh, to the ideas of freedom, uh, free market, uh, just society and I've been following the Austrian school since uh, around 2001 and I even went to uh, their 20th anniversary conference in 2002 uh, in Auburn Alabama and uh, I met uh, Ron Paul there at the time and uh, had a chat with him uh, it was a really nice conference my wife went with me she you know it wasn't as uh, interesting for her, but she liked it too. But uh, I remember asking Ron Paul about his uh, essay. Uh, not his essay, but the essay that Alan Greenspan wrote about gold and economic freedom in 1966, when he was uh, still a disciple of Ayn Rand. Uh, and Because Ron Paul ha had a lot of contact in, in Congress with uh, Alan Greenspan. Uh, uh, Ron Paul was in uh, in committees uh, associated with uh, banking and finance, and he used to ask uh, Greenspan, uh, you know, questions in Congress when they had their testimonies. And I asked uh, Ron Paul, you know, what uh, does Greenspan uh, say about gold, and uh, you know, the essay he wrote, and uh, he said he had it uh, autographed by Alan Greenspan that. Uh, 
essay by Greenspan, and uh, and he asked him, uh, "Do you still believe in everything you wrote?" And Alan Greenspan said, "said yes, a hundred percent." And and he, Alan Greenspan, noted, you know, unfortunately, there's no political will to go back on a gold standard. So that was his answer to Ron Paul. Anyway, I digress a little bit. <laughs> But now the second book, and the second book, uh, I also came across it because of the uh, Mises Institute, uh, looking through the Mises website, uh, all the books they recommend. And it's called The Law by Frederick Bastia, who was a 1850s economist, politician, philosopher in France. And... Uh, that's the book. And the thing about these books is they're very short, very easy to read, and uh, you don't have to have a PhD to read them. They're like, anyone can read them. Uh, so this, uh, the law, uh, says the classic blueprint for a just society. So what is this all about, the law, and why do I like this book? Well, uh, at the time in France, mid 1800s, uh, communism, socialism was, you know, springing up, and uh, Frederick Bastiat, uh, his philosophy is that uh, you need small government, and the rule of law basically is to protect uh, life, uh, liberty, property, and that's it. But if you use the law, as most all governments do now, to uh, break the law, then you don't you have legal plunder. All the taxation without representation. Um, what else? All the uh, all the inflation from the central banks, which are enabled by the rule of law. It's all theft. Uh, government is supposed to be lean, small, and protect. The basic uh, rights of individuals, um, but we are so far from that. Uh, but uh, you know, I recommend people read this book. It's very interesting. What do they say uh, here in the back? So this is what it says. Says here, statesman, essayist, and economist Frederick Bastiat was a renowned champion of individual freedom. And the law first published in 1850 is Bastiat's most famous and enduring work. So what you see, the other thing here, uh, the basic, uh, one of the important comments he makes is, and I read here from the book, it is impossible to introduce into society a greater change and a greater evil than this, the conversion of the law into an instrument of plunder. France of 1850 was in political turmoil. In the aftermath of the revolution of 1848, the tide of socialism was sweeping the nation. One man stood alone against the tide. And that was Frederick uh, Bastia. So, <laughs> and it says here, he also became isolated politically. The struggle between left and right was for power and plunder. Yet Bastia believed that the only purpose of government was to guarantee individual rights and freedom. So it just goes to show that very little has changed. Uh, very few people have read this book, I guess. You know, uh, they're not taught uh, in universities or in schools. Um, we still have left and right, and uh, things don't change. That's the, the whole thing. We, we don't need left and right. And that's why also George Washington uh, in his, uh, I'm not sure if it was in his farewell, farewell, farewell speech, or he said that uh, we should avoid uh, political parties and division, and um, because this division is what keeps us divided, and the and it gives the left and right excuse to to plunder people, but uh, you know, I guess Ron Paul is the only guy out there uh, who, who stands for that. Everyone else, uh, you know, at the moment, politically, is very far away from that. Maybe Rand Paul, but uh, I'm not too sure about Rand Paul, if he's as much as a freedom 
loving libertarian as his dad. He seems to be a little more flexible. So, yeah, those for me are the two most important books that uh, if someone asked me, uh, a young person asked me, you know, what books do you recommend uh, about economics, money, and politics? These would be the two. Uh, what else did I want to say? Oh, well, I'd like to thank all the viewers for the support uh, this year. Um, the channel, uh, my YouTube channel is growing. Also, my Steam It uh, uh, blog or channel is growing as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, I'll be able to keep uh, you guys uh, informed uh, next year. And hopefully I'll have uh, good information and uh, maybe pick up some more uh, subscribers. So that's it. Uh, I wish you all a happy and pros prosperous new year. And uh, don't get married to uh, positions, investments. Be a bit nimble. <laughs> and if you're going to speculate, be careful. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, please like, share it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And you can also follow me on steamit.com and on Twitter. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.